jars of kombucha ready to put into bottles and so I thought I would show you, you guys how I mix up my kombucha batches. So the first step I do once I have a batch of kombucha ready is get my jars out, make sure I've got them nice and clean, that, that nothing's weird in them or anything like that. Some of them are a little steamy from being out of the dishwasher, but these are all really nice and clean and I've got my funnel going and what I'll do is I will put at least a couple different kinds of juice into these today and we'll see how we like the flavors. I've got two kinds of juice that I'm going to use. One of them is a grape juice and the other is a um, carrot, ginger, turmeric. And so I'm excited to try those and we'll see how we, we do. Okay, so while the camera wasn't rolling and I it died, on me. I filled all these jars, but I've still got some more to go and some more kombucha in my jars over here. So I'm going to go ahead and put those together and talk to you about what I'm doing. So these are nice, clean, empty jars. filter. This is a very handy little filter. It's like a cup size and I don't actually use this when I, I like to strain it into my glass too because they do get a little bit of a of a slimy gunk on top sometimes and I know I can eat it and I know it's fine and I've swallowed it before but it just it's not it's not a nice texture. I'll put it that way. So I usually will get rid of that. So what I'm using today is I have a carrot ginger turmeric that is a non-GMO organic juice that I get from the grocery store. I don't have a juicer, so this is how I like to do it today. Um, if I had a juicer, I could go out and I could get carrots and ginger and turmeric and grind them up and that would probably be even better because then I could control the amounts. But this is what I have for today and I do really love this juice. It's so nice. So a really good juice. So I'm just going to do, I've probably only got enough for maybe one more of these. Yeah, I'm just going to throw the whole thing in there. And so I'll just do one of those. And a lot of people will take their mother out when they put their juice in here. And I find it is just an extra step. And so I will just go ahead and leave it in there. And you do need to be really careful and watch your levels and keep keep in mind that it's coming up a smaller and smaller area and that there's foam in there and then slow right down because otherwise you will make a mess and I make a mess every single time but you just gotta keep going so now that I'm done with the carrot ginger I'll take my filter out and put this is a cranberry grape that is a GMO free, no high fructose corn syrup juice cocktail from Concentrate that we really like. And so it's from a company called Langer's. And I will put this into my kombucha. And then whatever's left over, Brian will drink just the juice straight. He really likes having some juice. So we don't drink soft drinks really. So I drink my kombucha, he has juices usually, or we drink water, we drink a lot of water. So I'll just do the juice part first. So I'm putting a lot of juice in here just because I'd really like to have that juice flavor and also because I like to have that little extra brew, try, brew time to get a good fizzy consistency. So I will actually leave these set on the counter for a little while longer to get more carbonation in them. See, it's getting a little messy. just rinse that before I take them and put them on the counter for where they're going to sit for a while. 
And I do use my big jar, but I will take these and put everything into, oops, I don't want it upside down now, um, my Where was I going with this? I will take from in this big jar and put it into these smaller jars when I go to put it in into the, the container. So it seems like an extra step, but this is a lot easier for me to lift and pour than those, um, that big jar. I can't actually lift and pour that very well. So I will put these, once I've emptied them, into the sink and fill the, that into these. It's just easier to dump into this big container. And even this one is a little tough for me. So so I'll just fill these up. to do my uh, about three batches of kombucha that I'll do so I've got some in there still so that's enough planning for that batch but I do need to keep a little bit for the last two so um, I think I have enough that I could once my dishwasher's done I'll pull out another couple jars and we will get those put together and I'll show you what what it looks like in the end so I decided to make my last little batch with some blackberry juice that I had prepared earlier and kept in the fridge. So this is what I was talking about when I say I just puree it and, and strain the seeds out. Um, and it's a little, it gets a little bit jelly-like and so usually I'll just fill up that little strainer area and that going and then as I add this kombucha it will kind of go down in there with it. You have to be a little bit more careful. This is where you can take a spoon or whatever you've got going on to kind of ease it down in there because it's a little thick. This makes really good kombucha. I really love blackberries in my kombucha. Blackberries and ginger are by far my favorite flavors. And I may actually tuck some blackberry into this one, or <laughs> ginger into this one with it. And when I do that, I just chop it up because like I said, I like to strain it in this little little strainer anyways into my glass when I'm drinking it because I don't like the consistency of the, the little slimy baby that creates in the kombucha bottle and it doesn't suck the fermentation. Let's try and get this going a little bit better here. Do a few more jars and get this one filled all the way up and then I will show you a full tour of all the jars of kombuchaness. Okay, so here's my kombucha. It turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with the colors and the flavor and everything. Um, I, these will probably be pretty much just for me <laughs> because like I said, I'm the only one who really enjoys the sort of almost sour flavor of kombucha. 
um, a lot of people don't like it. So um, this will last me for probably hmm, a week and a half and then I will have another batch and so I'll keep my, my, my scobies in their little bit of starter liquid for a few days like this and then we will start a new batch. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, can you see me, Brian? <laughs> Not really. I'm gonna...